Question number seven. Am I doing okay? Is this really bad? You're I'm doing so great! <laughs> You're doing great, Blake. Doing so great. Okay, are you ready for question number seven? Ready. All right. Anonymous wonders. Moritz is plagued by his dreams. Can you tell us about a recent dream you've had? Love you, Blake. <laughs> Not any that are PG right now. <laughs> um, I don't really remember my dreams. For the longest time, I didn't even know if I dreamt in color, but I do. And the most recent dream that I can remember, which I told you about, Steffi, was mm -hmm. I was playing kickball, but instead of it being an actual kickball, <laughs> it was a ball of butter. So you were kicking around a ball of butter. Butter. Do you Make think you could butter. ever interpret it, what it meant? That I just lead a greasy existence. <laughs> I don't that know. must be it. <laughs> All right. So we have, the next question is in a couple of parts. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Question number eight. Let's do it. Olivia, Gabrielle, Rosie, and Anonymous asks. Anonymous? Is it the same Anonymous? I don't know. I don't know. It might be. What is your favorite one movie? One? Can I pick a couple? I'll yeah. Pick a couple. Pick My a Left couple. Foot, Ordinary People, and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Three good ones. Very right nice. There. Two. Two. TV show. Favorite TV show. Lost. Duh. No, I'm just kidding. I ah. do like Lost. I've always liked Lost, even before I was on it. Um, I don't watch much TV. Our schedules are crazy, but I did enjoy Six Feet Under. And uh, my so-called life, but it was really short-lived, and that was kind of depressing. Okay. Number three, your favorite book. Oh, there's too many books. I'm an avid reader, and there's too many to choose from, but I think To Kill a Mockingbird is a perfect novel, mm -hmm. and I really loved American Pastoral by Philip Roth and Revolutionary Road. It's also another good book. Very Stay lovely. Moving. Number four, musical artist. Uh, Adele. Um, and Rufus Wainwright are my favorites. Yeah. Very nice. Number five, favorite food. <sighs> Look at me. <laughs> I like all food. Um, favorites um, and drink. Hello, I like to drink. Mm -hmm. um, I'm old enough, so it's fine. You love, love your, your wine. wine. Mm -hmm. love, you love um, your wine. Chocolate, french fries, cheese, olives. I mean, it's endless. I'll eat anything you put in front of me, really. <laughs> I love food. Awesome. Number six is... Favorite song to work out to? Well, I don't work out. <laughs> Can you believe that? The ridiculously good-looking Blake Bashoff does not work out. Uh, but if I did, there's that song by Jason Mraz called Butterfly, which I think is like a sexy and like makes you want to move song. And Steffi's blushing behind the camera. <laughs> okay. Um, question number nine. Yeah. Annette Anonymous. What? <laughs> what is with all these anonymous people? Lissa, Emily, S, and Maureen inquires. You are great. That's not a question. Why are you camera shy after having been, having been on TV so many... Sorry, let me start over. Why are you camera shy after having been on so many TV shows and movies? I'm not camera shy. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um... Oh, I don't know. It's something I struggle with. I think, well, you should know that I'm an actor because I am sort of shy and insecure as myself. This is really hard for me, actually, to sit here, and that's why I'm clutching the stuffed animal. <laughs> I'm just sort of uncomfortable, and um, it just puts me in on, on look, I, I get it. Um, uh, it's just, I'm just shy and insecure, and I, get, I like to lose myself in a part that I play, um, and it's not meant to be disrespectful or anything, but I just like to keep a piece of myself for myself and maintain some air of mystery. Um, and really, it's just I'm shy and awkward when put on the spot, so I try to avoid it. I see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question number 10. Are we done? Not yet. Oh, oh, okay. There's two more. Okay, okay. Okay. Michael from Denton, Texas asks, Dear Blake, I'm trying to write a script just for you so you can go on to win an Oscar slash Emmy slash Tony. What is your dream role that hasn't been written? Griffin from Boston also adds, if you could take any play or book and turn it into a musical, what would you choose? So first part question. Well, thank you. Um, hey, write it and send it my way. I'm available and, and open and, and from your lips, let's make it happen. I don't know. Um, I don't have a specific role. I think 
there's this guy, um, Nijinsky, who was a Russian dancer who led like a really colorful, intense life, and there's some great material there to work with. I think that could be interesting, but um, nothing really specific jumping out at me. A book uh, that could be a cool musical is a book called Geek Love. Not geek like nerd, but geek like circus freaks, like biting the heads off of chickens. It's really dark and twisted and messed up, which, you know, clearly I'm attracted to. <laughs> um, I think could make an interesting musical, and I know that it was a, a book or a play, but I also think, which they've tried, Edward Scissorhands could be something cool and, mm, I and agree. Pleasantville. We've all, remember, like, we were talking about that as a cat. Pleasantville! Pleasantville like, half the yes. people in color, some in black and white. If they could make that happen, that would be pretty cool. But that's a movie. Again. Excellent. Excellent. All right, last, last question. question. Then I need a drink. <laughs> okay, question number 11. Frankie from the UK and Caitlin want to know, there seems to be an ongoing obsession with urban outfitters and arm warmers within the Spring Awakening cast. Are there any other current trends that you would like to share? Where are your favorite places to shop? Um... No current trends because truthfully I'm trying to save up my money now because I'm furnishing an apartment in LA for when I go home. Um, but the arm warmers were fun for a, wh a bit. It's a, it's a little too warm now for that. Mm -hmm, it I does. don't really have any new trend to start, but I'll get on that. And I like to shop where like my favorite brands are. I like a brand called uh, Band of Outsiders and like Urban Outfitters is great in American Apparel. I also like Barney's and there's a place in LA called Fred Siegel. Um, yeah, and I like Kiehl's, stuff from Kiehl's, like facial products, so I can be young forever. Yeah, that's right. And that's going to be a screen cap, I know it. Shoot. <laughs> okay. That's it. This was the profile of the month with Spring Awakening cast member Blake Bashoff. Bashoff. In my home city, Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, home city. Much Blake love. Blake Warren Bashoff. Bye, Bye Blake. Bye.